A lot of you will know that we just recently returned to the UK after an incredible trip away to Chamonix when I was preparing for my biggest race of the year. I'm happy to say the trip went really well. I had some fantastic runs out in the mountains and I managed to hang on and get the race finished. Uh, we actually filmed a race day video and it's just gone up on the channel and I really think it captures all the highs and the lows you can go through when you're ultra running. So I'll leave a link in the description. It's definitely worth checking out. Another real positive from the trip is we managed to get our hands on an early pair of Innovate's new Trailfly G280s. This is their first shoe to utilize their new nitrogen infused midsole compound fly speed. So a massive shout out to Lee from Innovate for hooking us up with an early pair. So let's jump into the video and find out how they perform out there on their first run. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Thanks for joining us for another video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then it's great to have you along. Thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. And remember, if you enjoy the content that you're watching, hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Really easy to do just by clicking on that little red subscribe box down there in the corner. And it is completely free, but it really does help the channel out. Also, hit that bell icon because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. So back to today's video and the brand new trail running offering from Innovate, the Trail Flight G280. Now, if you're new to the fantastic world of trail running and you haven't come across the Innovate brand before, they've become well known for offering trail shoes that offer good levels of grip and traction, but also great levels of sort of connection and ground feel underfoot. Very popular in the UK amongst the sort of fell running community, especially when you're running in sort of wet, muddy British winters. But over the years, the whole trail running shoe world has changed quite significantly and largely down to Hoka's sort of deeply cushioned trail running shoes becoming very popular, especially for long distance. Because of this, Innovate launched their Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max, their first deeply cushioned trail running shoe, and it proved to be pretty popular. We reviewed a pair on the channel and I got some good mileage in it, including a couple of ultra marathons. The only issues I had was the pretty hefty 170 pound price point and the fact that it weighed in at 360 grams in a men's UK 9.5. So it was a pretty heavy shoe. Now this is where the new shoe comes in because the Trailfly G280 has a lot of similar characteristics to that but because of that new midsole compound, it is a lot lighter. Before we lace them up and hit the trails, I'm just gonna give you guys a few facts and figures and a bit of information about the construction. So firstly, we might have seen quite a big weight saving. Unfortunately, we can't say that about the price. So it's gonna retail for 165 pounds here in the UK when it's released in October. So it's still a pretty pricey shoe. Uh, when it comes down to weight, in a UK 10.5, and yes, you heard me correctly, I said 10.5, um, I've had to go up a full size in the new trail fly, very similar to what I did in the Park Claw. Normally, I run a 9.5 in most of my shoes, now and again a 10, but very rarely a 10.5. So it's definitely sizing up on the small side. But back to the weight, it weighs in at 330 grams now in a UK 10.5. So a 30 gram saving on the Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max. Still not the lightest shoe in the world, but if I pick them and hold them up together, you really can notice the difference in weight and it just feels a lot more balanced. We've got an eight mil offset, so you get a stack height of 32 mil on the heel and 25 mil under your forefoot. It's gonna be available in three color options for men and two color options for women. As far as the construction goes, I think we should start with this new midsole compound because it has been a big development for the Innovate brand and it is called Fly Speed. So this is their new nitrogen infused cushioning. It's all about keeping the weight down, making the shoes lighter, but they also claim it's gonna offer their softest and most highest energy returning ride ever. Uh, I've gotta be honest, I put it on indoors, I jumped up and down, and it does feel very comfortable and very bouncy underfoot. But obviously, we'll get the best idea when we get out there and we get running. As well as offering good bounce back and keeping the weight down, that fly speed is supposed to be very durable as well. And the fact that they've used nitrogen gas 
it actually reduces the amount of energy and chemicals used in the manufacturing. So it sounds like a win-win situation to me. Innovate aren't the first brand to infuse nitrogen into their cushioning. Brooks Skechers have been doing it for some years now, but it seems to be becoming a popular way of sort of keeping the weight down and the bounce up, but without compromising on durability. If we have a quick look at the outsole, you can see we've got that green logo. So it means it's clad in graphene grip. And this is there to give you good levels of traction, but also durability because it is the world's strongest material, apparently. Uh, Innovate have been using it in their running shoes for a while and sort of leading the way with graphene technology. And um, I have to say, it works pretty well on the trails down here in Cornwall. We've got that chunky four mil sort of multi-directional lug and you know, very similar to what we saw on the Trailflight Ultra G 300 Max. And in fact, looking at them together, it is exactly the same when it comes to the outsole design. And we've got that same adapter flex groove. This is an area of the shoe on the 300 Max I wasn't sure about. I thought it was gonna be a bit of a stone trap and we all know how much I hate a stone trap, but it actually works really well. It gives really good flex at that midfoot, even though it is a deeply cushioned trail shoe. And I never got one stone stuck in it. Finishing off with that new upper design, and uh, there's been a lot of change here as well. And Innovate have gone for this sort of knitted mesh construction. Uh, it feels like it's gonna be very soft around the foot and nice and breathable, but it's gonna be interesting to see how it handles wet conditions, because does feel like it might be a bit of a sponge and soak up water, but obviously we'll test that out and we'll find out if that is the case. Uh, we got a good level of padding in the tongue. Hooray! Another Innovate shoe with a decent padded tongue and just the right amount of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel cup for me. We got some reinforcement around those lace eyelets just for durability and we've got this rubber overlay added just to beef up those flex points, but also to offer a bit of toe protection. So there you have it. The new Trailfly G280, uh, a big step up for Innovate, especially using this new fly speed compound. So very excited to give them a try. We've got seven to eight miles planned today. We're gonna head off to the woods because it is a bit blowy and a bit wet out there. So we'll get a bit of shelter. So let's go and get changed. Let's grab the GoPros and let's hit the trails. We definitely made the right call coming up to the Hiddy Woods to run today because driving up here, the weather was atrocious. So bad. And this is another thing that's really hard filming in the UK is the weather, you know. Strong winds, heavy rain, low light, and we've kind of got all three of them on today's run. It's crazy, we were out in Chamonix for just under a month and I think we had one day of rain and all the other days were super still, no rain no wind and just bright blue skies it just makes it so much easier to film but we should be okay today we're gonna to have some shelter in the woods that's for sure and because of the bad weather we've been having it's gonna make it perfect sort of testing conditions for the new innovate trail shoe so we've got lots of water everywhere we're gonna have lots of mud we've got some tarmac sections and we're gonna have some super greasy sort of rooted trails to run on as well now this is only my second run back since the tds so still feeling a bit tight feeling a bit stiff and feeling a little bit low on energy so just gonna be a really nice steady sort of seven-ish miles around the woods so let's crack on with the run i don't know what i was moaning about we got blue sky now I don't know, so British complaining about the weather. Okay, so we are what, halfway through the run, three and a half miles in. First things first, a great fitting upper. Seems to work really well for my foot shape, so 
really good lockdown around the midfoot, really good hold in that heel. And, you know, just a very comfortable place to be. And I feel very secure, very dialed in, no lateral or medial movement to speak of whatsoever. Uh, in fact, the last two or three Innovate shoes that I've reviewed have all given me that great fit and uh, just seem to work great for my foot shape. Uh, this hasn't been the case in the past. I never really got on with the Innovate fit. So something must have changed over the last few generations. Um, I always found them a bit sloppy, a bit loose, and I never really felt dialed in. And that's definitely not the case in this shoe. Feels really comfortable and like I say, really secure. So going great so far. So like I say, we've got another sort of three and a half, maybe four miles to run. So let's crack, oh, before I go, if you have followed the channel for any time, you'll know that I'm a big fan of a Danish running apparel brand, Say Sky. Ever since I reviewed them on the channel, I've pretty much run exclusively in their kit. Uh, to celebrate the very successful trip for the TDS at UTMB and the launch of their new Polka Party range, the kind folk from Say Sky are offering our viewers a discount code. So all you need to do on their website, if you're making a purchase, put in this code here and it will give you a massive 15% discount. Uh, we got it running until the 20th of September. So get in the mix guys, don't miss out. If you are in the market for some really cool new running apparel, uh, great attention to detail, brilliant performance and some lovely fabrics, especially if you like sort of bold, colorful running kit like I do, then go along to the website and go and sort yourself out with some uh, new kit. So massive thanks to Say Sky for uh, supporting the channel and giving our viewers that discount. But anyway, let's crack on with the run. believe how wet and how muddy it is in the woods today and you know technically we're still in summer but we have had some really heavy downpours today and I've been uh, trying to keep the shoe looking all new but it doesn't look anymore I've been trying to avoid the mud and jump over the mud and tiptoe through it but I've had to give up because it's just so much although I think I've timed the weather just right because we haven't had any rain since I've been running and actually the sun's out now I've got blue sky and it's pretty warm in the woods but I'm happy to say the legs have loosened up, they've freed up a bit now, so they feel like they're actually attached to my body. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and try to, and find some more techie trails, you know, the really muddy trails, those slippery rooted trails so that we can test out this graphene grip outsole and see how it performs when it comes to grip and see how that four mil lug handles the traction. So let's crack on, find them trails. soaked all of that up no problem at all really good levels of traction we had a bit of wet rock there we had some uh, loose sort of washed out trail and lots of wet slippery tree roots and I'm actually surprised the level of traction that that graphene grip gave me on those tree roots because that's a tricky thing to do that four mil lug okay it's not the deepest in the world but it is nice and chunky so it really did grip on in the bits of mud as well so obviously we're not in the depths of a British winter. It is muddy, it is wet out here, but it's only gonna get worse from now in. So it'll be really good to test it out, you know, in a couple of months time when it's proper muddy here in the UK. But first impressions of that graphene grip, really good. And I've always been a fan of it, you know. I've, I've always thought it's given me good levels of grip and traction. But yeah, we are now six miles into the run. So we've got about a mile and a half to go until we get back to the adventure bus. And, Loving life in the woods. The body's feeling good. It's coming back to life after the TDS, but let's crack on. That was an awesome first run in the Innovate shoe. Uh, super happy with how quick I've got my running legs back, especially after that 39 hour pounding they took in the race. Although 
up that last hill, it was a little bit of a struggle and I realized how fatigued my legs are. But yeah, great to be back in the woods. Loads of wildlife out there today. I mean, you always tend to see some, but there was an abundance of squirrels today. Uh, saw a blue jay, which is quite a rare sighting. Lots of ducks, swans, and a river rat, which I've never seen in the woods before. So yeah, really great to be back in the woods. On another positive note, I remember to bring a nice, clean, dry t-shirt with me. I'm sure you guys know there's nothing worse than getting back from a run in sweaty kit and then having to drive home in that kit. Also mentioning t-shirts, these are available at runforadventure.uk. So lots of great merch available for you guys at home. Uh, lots of hoodies, t-shirts, different colors, different designs, and lots more. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go and check out our merch site. But yeah, we've spoken about the comfortable, well-fitting upper. We've spoken about the grip and performance of that graphene outsole. The only thing we haven't mentioned is the performance of that new fly speed midsole. So let's get back to Run for Adventure HQ and let's break down the performance of the new uh, Trailfly G280 in a bit more detail. Well, I was extremely lucky with the weather, that is for sure, because as I went to leave the car park, it absolutely chucked it down. So when I turned up, it was pouring with rain. When I left, it was pouring with rain, but we pretty much did the whole run in blue sky and sunshine. So pretty amazing, but um, another really good positive first run in a new trail shoe. But let's talk about this new compound from Innovate, Fly Speed. With there being that 30 gram weight save when you compare it to the Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max, you really do notice it when you put them on and you head off down the trails. The shoe just feels a lot more balanced. And you know, when you think of the uh, 300 Max, that midsole was quite heavy and I think it did throw the balance of the shoe out a little bit. So I think it's a really good improvement on the weight front. The Fly Speed cushioning offered a good level of comfort, although it's not as soft as I thought it was gonna be. When you push into that compound, it feels pretty soft, pretty squishy, but it definitely runs a bit firmer underfoot when you're out there on the trails. Not in a bad way, but definitely a bit firmer. I was also surprised that it doesn't come with a pair of boomerang footbeds. Uh, now, if you don't know what boomerangs are, and I don't mean the Australian throwing implement, I mean those super cushioned, really bouncy insoles that come in some of the Innovate shoes. Unfortunately, not this one. And I am surprised. I thought it would come with a pair of them boomerang footbeds, especially when it's going to retail for £165. All that aside, that new fly speed compound actually ran very comfortable and it got a thorough testing in the woods today. We had sections of gravel trail, we had sections of tarmac, we had more mud and puddles than I expected and lots and lots of sort of rooted slippery trails as well and it soaked it all up really well. So that new nitrogen in infused compound gets a thumbs up from me. So rounding up after our first run in the Trailflight G280 and I personally think it works really well for my foot shape and it was very comfortable over those 7.3 miles. This knitted material used on the shoe felt very soft, very breathable and I tried to run through every puddle that I came across to test it out in wet conditions and it didn't actually hold onto water like I thought it would. Uh, that graphene outsole performed really well, definitely passed the test with flying colors. The only thing I will say, and I don't want to keep harping on about it, I personally think it should have definitely come with a pair of those boomerang footbeds. I'm a big fan and I think they offer a real good level of comfort and an energy return as well. So I'm going to be slipping a pair inside these and testing them out. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but um, the new Trailfly isn't a replacement for the Trailfly Ultra G 300 Max. It's just a new model from Innovate if the consumer wants a lighter option. So I'm sure we're going to see a new version of these in the future at some point. Obviously, this is just our first impressions, first run video. We're going to be clocking up a lot more miles in these and then we'll be back with our full in-depth review. That's the end of another first impressions video. It's always great when we get shoes early so we can get good miles in them, give them a thorough test testing and then give you our thoughts before that shoe's release. So really hope you've enjoyed the video guys, really hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. You can also follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook or Strava. Uh, we've got lots going on at Run for Adventure. I've got kit and shoes all over the place. So 
We're going to be busy testing them all out over the next couple of weeks. And we're going to have some new brands on the channel. So super excited about that. So keep your eyes peeled. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. Thanks for the support. We'll be back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running brand new trail running shoe from Innovate, the Trailflight G280. Now, if you, knew, you are new to... <laughs> the Trailflight G280. Now, if you're new to the world of trail running, offering good levels of grip and traction, but also really good levels of sort of connection and ground feel.